I have this bottle and on top of it there is a stainless steel cover. And what I'll do is I'll throw ping pong balls and see how they how they deflect when they collide with the bottle. This just goes back. This one deflects to the left. And if they do not collide with the bottle, they just they just move forward. They they go undeviated, they just keep on going forward. Like this. Now I want you to see this setup that Rutherford had and it is his famous alpha scattering experiment. So what you see in front of you, this, this thing over here, this is a gold foil and it is surrounded by a screen which is used to detect very small, very small particles. And what Rutherford did was he fired alpha particles at this gold foil. Now what are alpha particles? Well, you can think of alpha particles as as particles which are positively charged. And Rutherford observed that when he fired these beam of positively charged particles at the gold foil, some of the beams were deflected like this and it was observed on the screen right over here. Then he fired some more beams at the gold foil like this and that could have been deflected over here. Just like how the table tennis ball or the plastic ball was getting deflected when it collided with the steel bottle, right? And he also observed that sometimes, sometimes they go undeviated. They do not deflect at all. They just go straight. So based on these observations, the structure of the atom was thought of. Rutherford said that an atom is made up of a nucleus which is positively charged and the rest of the atom is really just empty space. So when the positively charged alpha particles were fired at it, some of them, some of them were deflected like this because like charges repel. Both the nucleus and the alpha particle were positively charged, so they repel. And therefore you see this deflection. But sometimes they go undeviated, which means, which means the particles must, must be going very further away from the nucleus, right? Further away from the nucleus. So Rutherford concluded that an atom is mostly empty space, that's one, and the second that it has a nucleus which has a positive charge to it. 